Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to manage databases with Plesk. I'm not going to explain how MySQL works as such, that it's the default database server in Plesk. I'm just going to show you how to access your databases, how you can create new ones, how you can create database users, and so forth. This process is a little bit different for customers than it is for system administrators. Customers will see this interface here, and on the right-hand side you can see databases. If you click on that, you will see a list of all the databases that are currently associated with this subscription. On the right-hand side, you can see a button that says Web Admin, and that will open a new tab which opens PHP My Admin. Let's try it out. There we go, PHP My Admin for a single user of this subscription. The all too familiar interface here. Let me close that down and go back into Plesk. On the top here you have two tabs. One is for the databases and you can't really do anything in Plesk with the database other than copy it. So you can create a copy. And now I've copied my database over. This is an exact replica, so before you try anything out that may go wrong, uh, databases, direct database tweaks have the habit of doing that, you can create a copy and at least you are safe and you can copy all the data back if you need to. Users is very similar as well. You can create users here and associate them, give them access to certain databases, or if you over here under databases create a database, you can also choose to create a user while you're at it. Let's try that. Notice that depending on the way your server is set up, you may get something like a pre-filled field here, so the system admin can tell better who this database user belongs to. I'm just going to get rid of that and say test user. And if I had more than one database server, I could select them. On the bottom here, much like in PHP My Admin, I have the opportunity to create a database while I'm creating this user and give this user access to a certain database. Usually the setup is that one database user has access to one database and if you set up a second application you would create another user and another database for that. But of course MySQL allows you to have one user who has access to 10 databases. Down here on the bottom this is a new Plesk 12 feature. You can allow remote connections from any host or only local connections or allow remote connections from a certain host. But if you leave it like this, then both local and remote connections will be allowed by default. Click OK and both the test user and the database with the name test user will be created. We already had a database and a database user installed, which was this one here. That was installed by a web application, which was WordPress. So if you do that, then the APS package manager automatically creates a new user and a new database, then installs WordPress with those things. or in fact, any other app that you choose to install. If I head over to Users, I could click into my test user here, that's the one that I've just created, and I can allow him to have access to a different database, or I can dedicate him to have access to any database if I wanted to. This is also the opportunity for me to change his password. I can also pick which default database is being used for this user. And of course, when I'm done with the database, I'll just select the ones I no longer need and hit remove. That will also get rid of the database user, by the way. If you're a system administrator who's in charge of the entire server, you may need access to all the databases on the system, which includes the database that Plesk is using internally. And here's how you access that. In your admin interface, I'm using the service provider view here, you head over to Tools and Settings. If you're using Plesk in power user mode, then you have these tabs at the top, very similar to the customer control panel, and one of them will say server. That will get you to the same menu. And on the bottom here, under applications and databases, you have two settings here. One is the database hosting preferences, and one is database servers. If you head over to database servers, you're presented with a list of MySQL servers that are currently attached to the panel. This one is the local MySQL server, but of course I can also add another one with this option here, add a database server. And if I wanted to look at all my databases via PHP My Admin, then that is over here, this little settings tool thing. 
If you click that, then another tab opens, and this is again PHP My Admin, which will now let you access all the databases on the system. You're kind of a root user. It's not really the root user. It's the user here is called admin. He has control over all the databases on the system. It's equivalent to root without being root. That was it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave me a comment. And don't forget to watch all the other videos in this Plesk series. Bye for now. I'll see you next time. Thank you.